Ever wonder how clean your floors really are? You've tried the old school broom, the not so handy mop, maybe even a robot vacuum that promises a lot but delivers too little. Introducing Narwhal, the world's first self-cleaning robot vacuum and mop with the most advanced navigation. First off, Narwhal takes care of vacuuming up pretty much anything off your floors. But the magic actually starts with the mopping. Other robot cleaners that claim to mop only sweep the floor. Narwhal has reinvented the mop. It has rounded triangular mops that press down on the floor and rotate to really clean away those stubborn stains. Narwhal mops clean three times as efficiently versus other robot cleaners. Other robot cleaners clean the floor and then you have to clean them. Defeats the purpose if you ask me. Narwhal is totally self-clean. It automatically returns to the base station to clean, wash, and dry itself multiple times during mopping. And when the mopping is done, Narwhal keeps the mop dry and clean with its ventilation system. Most robot cleaners require remapping every time you use them, but Narwhal's home layout map can be used repeatedly once created. The map is created with the help of LiDAR technology, you know, what they use in driverless cars. Narwhal also avoids secondary contamination by making sure it doesn't pass over the spaces it's already mopped. You can even customize its cleaning strategy for different rooms and floors, like choosing which rooms to clean, in which order, how many times to clean, the type of floor, and it creates cleaning reports for you after it's done cleaning. Narwhal is also ultra quiet. You'll almost forget it's there. With its awesome sweeping, vacuuming, and mopping tech, Narwhal will make you wish you'd found it sooner. Narwhal is built by a dedicated team of engineers and visionaries. I got the idea to build Narwhal when I saw my mom struggling with mopping housework every day. So I decided to build a robot to help her and everyone in the world. We hope you can support us. It's the next step in music production. Mind-boggling how like empty the industry was for something like this. I'm Maggie's Chapel, I'm a London-based producer and I make alternative R&B and soul. For me, is not having that much knowledge of music theory, it's really nice to have something that you can just see exactly what you've sung and it's straight there. It, it fits really, really nicely into my workflow. If I'm stuck, really helpful to just boost my creative juices. Even with the, the interface itself, not using it through a door, using the studio kit and the software, it's great for capturing your ideas. Because it's so much fun as well just to play around with. You can just use the instrument that every person in the world has. Your voice. Working with electronics can be a mess. The same goes for robotics. Dealing with mechanics, electronics, and programming all together at the same time may cause everything to fall apart. Which is why we designed and developed Active Puzzle, a simple language for playing with electronics and for building cute robots. So what is Active Puzzle? It's an exciting 3D puzzle game where each piece has an electronic function. Combine pieces, create robots. For eight years, we've been trying to challenge children with science and technology ideas, but there were always language barriers. Besides, kids just wanted to play a lot more than they wanted to learn. So we finally discovered the first game that allows them to express their ideas in a universal language. Puzzles, the language they learn before they start talking. So be active. 
Support Active Puzzle. Our world has become pretty much digital. And coding is really the logic of thinking about digital things. It is absolutely essential that the kids that are born today think that coding is just the most natural thing to do. Root is really about programming intelligence. It's about programming behavior of the robot. Coding is so unbelievably abstract from the get-go. It's an abstract language. It doesn't really have a relationship to the real world. It just doesn't matter enough at a young age. By putting robots in front of kids, it brings coding to life. The idea with Root is that we have a single robot that has a really interesting behavior. It can move on whiteboards and it can draw. But what makes it powerful is the different ways in which you can program it. A young kid understands consequences. If this, then this will happen. Now they get to program the consequences to their robot. They can think about what a machine is able to do. What did they tell the robot and how did the robot misinterpret what they said? That part of our brain that's analytical and that thinks about processes is the one that Root is trying to engage. And start with basic kinds of coding that has nothing to do with language and I can build up in sequence to more and more abstract coding. So that scaffolding is so powerful and it's not been done before. We have a vision to fill every classroom in the world with a robot. One of the unique things about Root is that the infrastructure already exists. The whiteboards are already in the classroom. The tablets and apps, that ecosystem is already in most schools. So with Root, really, the barrier to entry from a cost perspective is the cost of a textbook. What we're essentially doing is we're creating a robot that just works right out of the box, as simple to use as a tablet or app that the kids will love, that the teachers will love. Root is more than just one robot for one classroom. It's a platform that can reach any different grade level. We're talking kindergarten all the way up through college. By having different kinds of programming languages, you can really target the information processing that's possible at different stages. Not only just what excites them, but what makes a kid that age powerful. Root and that ecosystem has the chance to embed in it fundamental flexibility and adaptability such that you really could meet each kid where they're at and give them a kind of experience that gives them the best shot of falling in love with coding. We have the right robot hardware and the right robot software to be a disruptive technology in education. The more kids we have who grow up thinking, oh, I could code, that's not a problem. That's not what computer scientists do. That's what everybody does. That's where we want to arrive at. What's up, Kickstarter? We're really happy to see you. Oh, camera two? What's up, guys? <laughs>We've got tons of feedback from people, and so we finally decided we're going to build the robot for the people, and this is that robot. Rover is our latest programmable, customizable robot, and it's our most complete, most refined, and most capable robot ever. Rover is an out-of-the-box robotic platform. It comes along with all this stuff just built in, things like driving and sensors that you can just start on immediately. 
but the thing that makes it special is it's super expandable. What's super unique about Rover is we put in a UART expansion port, which opens it up in a way that we've never made available before. Rover is Sphero's first platform that allows students and makers to be able to hardware hack. If you've ever messed with a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino or a micro bit, you can put that onto Rover and make that project mobile. Rover works with our Sphero EDU app. You get the rich experience of our community and our EDU ecosystem. You don't have to assemble anything. You can start coding right away. You get a complete polished product and then you've got the ability to expand and build it into anything you want. It's got all-terrain capabilities. We've got high torque motors with a high gear ratio, which allows it to go fast, but also allows it to go really accurate at slow speeds. If something disrupts the treads, or if one track tread moves at a different speed than the other, it'll still go in the heading that you originally intended, which is something unique for tank treaded vehicles. The driving experience is unlike anything you've ever seen before. We worked really diligently to make sure this gearbox was robust. We made sure every single gear tooth would be able to withstand mulch or rocks. We have infrared communication that you can use to talk to other robots, other rovers, or even our bolts, so they can send messages to each other, play tag. We've got an ambient light sensor inside so it can detect you know, different light values and behave differently. Rover includes a 4600 milliamp hour battery, rechargeable via USB-C. We knew this is first and foremost a tool, and you need to be able to swap out a battery and a tool. Underneath, there's a color sensor, which allows you to detect the color value that it's driving over and write programming based on what color it detects. It's got a full nine-axis IMU, so we've got gyro, accelerometer, magnetometer. This is the platform I've been waiting for. It has the accuracy, the precision, the durability, the SDK, the low latency communication. It has everything you need to actually accomplish your mission. Don't just move around, but go do something everything from the gear ratio to the clearance underneath to how you hold it, how you interact with it has been thought through. We didn't just choose the cheapest option, we chose the right option. We wanted it to have personality and be approachable and draw people in. You know, there are a lot of competitor products that are really cool bots, but you have to do a ton of work to get it up and running. Or it's super easy to get up and running, but then it doesn't do that much. The thing we're really trying to do is make something that right out of the gate you can get started, but you can kind of keep going with it for a long time. Rover is built for you guys. We want the hackers and the makers and the students out there to take it and make the coolest projects out there and help inspire us. Get, get a Rover, it's awesome. I am getting a Rover, uh, probably, made probably more than one. You should also do that. Don't you want one of these? Rover, you're so beautiful. Help us get the best looking robot in the world to market. I'm hoping that people enjoy it and um, use it in all sorts of ways that I never expected. Thank you so much for checking this out and we look forward to seeing what you guys do with Rover. From dust motes, bacteria, chlorophyll, and amoebas, a strange and fantastic world surrounds us. Working with people around the world, Public Lab has developed an affordable way to peek into this hidden world. Using simple materials, we developed this DIY kit. Introducing the Community Microscope. It takes only 15 minutes to build and plugs into a smartphone or laptop. 
It's easy to use. You focus it by tightening these bolts. And using a microscopic ruler, we found that you can see things as small as 5 microns wide, 8 times smaller than a human hair. If you're looking for something more precise, we have upgrade kits with better lenses and cameras. How did we develop this kit? Not only does it build on the work of open source science groups, but because of Public Lab's mission to address environmental problems that affect people, we also worked with communities who are facing air pollution they hope to photograph with these kits. This kind of collaboration is part of how Public Lab works. How did Public Lab get started? Eight years ago, during an environmental crisis, the BP oil disaster, hundreds of people came together to collect their own data. Using just cameras attached to balloons or kites, they documented the disaster from a new perspective. This is the story of Public Lab, and we need you to take the next step. Community efforts like these only work if we build a broad, inclusive community of practice. That means we need activists, educators, hobbyists, and professional scientists to join in and work together. We need illustrators and writers to present these ideas clearly. Engineers and tinkerers to refine the open source kits. How can you get involved? We're building a list of challenges and goals which we need your help to solve. Sign up for a kit today and help bring this project to life. The Y-Phone is a VoIP mobile phone and development tool designed by hackers for hackers. Tools like dev kits and breakout boards are great for prototyping. But there's a lot of work between a messy prototype and something your spouse or boss could appreciate. Modern phones have enough compute power to land a man on the moon, and a user interface even a kid can understand. But they aren't designed for hacking and making. What would it look like if we combined the power and simplicity of mobile phones with the adaptability of our favorite dev board? What if we could easily develop our own apps instead of using the prepackaged ones from our friendly neighborhood IoT company? What if you could keep your project in the living room instead of exiled to the basement? What if you could understand the whole OS and change it how you want? The Y-Phone is designed for hackers, not passive consumers. You're encouraged to tear it apart and repurpose it. You're allowed to change the firmware from the ground up. It can be completely disassembled in under a minute. The back of the phone is a PCB you can swap out for something new or replace with your own design. Signals are transferred through spring contacts so you don't even need a connector and it makes free calls over Wi-Fi. Hi, this is Ben from the Wi-Phone team. I want to make a phone for engineers and hardware hackers like me. We've been working on the Wi-Phone for about a year now, and many of you have been along for the ride as we went from the basic prototypes to the pre-production units you see today. It's been a blast so far. Now we need your support to help us finish the design, buy our tooling, and go into production. With your help, we can build a phone designed by hackers for hackers, a tool to help you on your next awesome project. And even if you're not a hacker, it can make free calls over Wi-Fi. As you see this machine, it looks like none other on the market. It's uh, simple, it's easy to use. I'm able to now use uh, CAD software to draw my design and then use a G-code sender to take that design and output it directly to the CNC machine. Saved me a lot of time and the accuracy is, is perfect. I got a long mill because I decided I needed to take my woodworking up another level. The long mill changed things for me because it was like adding another employee to my shop basically, even though I'm not a 
a business on it, I could actually draw something up on the program, run it on the machine, and I could be doing something else at the same time. So it was taking all the labor for me, doing all the work, and I could just take the results afterwards and clean it up and finish it off. So it's a time saver as well. Instant gratification when you see the product come off of the machine and you can see the uh, even something as silly as uh, Baltic birch plywood and, and making those coasters, seeing the grain in the layers of the plywood underneath that are revealed was like, wow, who knew plywood could be so beautiful. When I saw what user were offering for the long mill, I had to pick my job off the floor. I couldn't believe what user were offering in a machine of this type. It just blew my mind. So it was to, for me, it was an absolute no-brainer. Hi, we're Andy and Chris, co-founders of CNC Labs. Our goal has always been to make CNC more accessible, and that's really come down to pushing the boundaries of cost, simplicity, and performance for what a hobby-level CNC machine can do. We're excited to be back on Kickstarter to launch our biggest and most powerful machine we've built to date, the Long Mill Benchtop CNC. The Long Mill aims to be the perfect platform for the maker, woodworker, or engineer to start CNC milling alongside free and simple software like our very own CAM lab. It's never been easier to go from design to carving. We spent hundreds of hours of testing and eight months of working with our beta testers to make the long mill an awesome machine. And now we're ready to share it with the rest of the world by giving our manufacturers the green light to start production of our first batch of machines. So come join our Kickstarter campaign and help us to make CNC more accessible for everyone. Introducing Ivy, the revolutionary 3D printer. It's smart and easy enough for anyone to use, even for a child. Start with your design or select one. Click Make. Ivy will do the rest. Easily change different modules like camera sensors, CNC, laser and SLA to build all kinds of projects quickly. Dual cameras automatically identify the chocolate's position and shape, help place designs, and start to make in no time. Ivy moves precisely to the accuracy of one-tenth of the human hair. With the SLA toolset, you can create models with remarkable detail. The cutting-edge SmoothKeep technology makes the print surface smoother and your models more lifelike. Now there is no limit to what you can create. Combine your ideas and creativity to produce unique gifts effortlessly. The precision engineered frame and Ivy's closed loop motion control system ensure the printer's accuracy so you can rebuild the model precisely. Ivy will become your model factory, treasure box, and never let you miss creating any of your spur of the moment ideas even ideas from a child. The 3D scanning function digitizes objects quickly and easily for recreation. You can create designs with various materials and also Ivy supports both FDM and SLA technology. Make a sophisticated robot arm or customize the 3D scanned key and recreate it. With Ivy, you can easily produce happy memories for life. Explore Ivy's extensive object library to find great existing projects ready to build. The models are so accurate and smooth, you can produce parts for assembly and painting. The printing quality is exquisite to provide good replacement solutions and valuable reference. Use Ivy on your phone or other devices anywhere, anytime. Ivy was born to help dreams come true. Become your children's superhero when you create with Ivy.
to bring your children's dreams into reality. Doctors are always pursuing accuracy, productivity, and reliability. Ivy has the same pursuit of building your ideas. Engrave a fascinating portrait on the leather with the laser tool. Cut special fibers to build extraordinary and colorful pop-up books. With SLA tool, you can even make an engagement ring by yourself. Ivy is love, is responsibility, and witnesses your happy moments. This is Ivy, the revolutionary 3D printer. Get an Ivy and start your wonderful journey now.